We're here, hold on. Let me introduce Haley. So Haley runs all the social media. You've probably seen a lot of the stuff she's been doing lately. Hi guys. So I just want to let her say hi. <laughs> Sheila is now on board. Sheila's the new brand manager who's uh, charged with uh, taking care of anything and everything that uh, you guys, our customer base needs and requires. And she's been with the Nutribio team about, what, five years now? Yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah I've loved it's been every quite a while. It. So hold on, let me turn up my volume a little here. So uh, we, we, I was on here once uh, last month and I, I showed up here with Matt and we talked about everything that was going on with the brand and the changeover and our history together. Uh, so we're not going to talk about that today, but if any of you missed that, you can look back. I think it was recorded and it's on uh, both the Facebook page and Instagram page somewhere. So you can see uh, a lot of what's, what's happened here. Uh, we we uh, took over the brand about seven, eight months ago. Uh, Matt is still involved uh, on the formulation side. So a lot of that you'll see in, in what's going on here today. Uh, today, what we wanted to focus on were a lot of the changes in actually not the company and the brand, but in the, in the products themselves and what's gonna be happening in the future and kind of drill down into some of those specifics. So there are a number of questions in advance of this and uh, understandably a lot of those questions are what changes are being made to products? Why are they being changed? I think one of the questions even said, are you changing the products because you're putting in cheaper ingredients to save money? Um, so that's really what we wanted to discuss today because everything that we're doing with the products uh, have specific goals. And I can tell you right now from Matt and myself and from Nutribio, uh, we have never made decisions on ingredient choices and formulations based on product cost on margin. It's just not something we do. You know, we look at a product and before we even decide what we're doing with the product, we, we decide on what the benefit is that we're trying to create for the consumer. And, and that's how everything starts. Once we know that benefit, we then start to look at formulation. Once we choose formulation, we then look at what are the best possible ingredients out there that we can use to achieve what we're trying to get in the formulation. <clears throat> and then the fourth part is the manufacturing, which I control right here. So literally right in front of this or behind where you can see me is a 60,000 square foot manufacturing facility that is fully GMP, which stands for Good Manufacturing Practice Certified, and adheres to all the rules and regulations of the FDA's manufacturing requirements for dietary supplements. A lot of people think, and it's always said out there in the media, that this is the wild, wild west of the dietary supplement industry because they're comparing it to drugs and how tough it is to manufacture drugs, but that's not the case. There is a set of regulations for dietary supplements called 21 CFR Part 111, and they were adopted back in 2008, and they came from 211, which are the actual manufacturing regulations for drugs. And in most cases, the manufacturing of dietary supplements is just as strict as a drug. In some cases, even more. Drugs are allowed to have a deviation in the active ingredient. Dietary supplements are not. If my label says glutamine two grams, I have to have glutamine at two grams. I can't have it 5% or eight or 12% under, I have to have it dead on. Uh, so there are very, very strict manufacturing <coughs> uh, regulations called GMPs. We, we not only follow them, but we call, call, call it something different. The exact term is CGMP, which stands for current good manufacturing practices. We call it here BGMP, beyond good manufacturing practices is what we've taken on because we go far and above what the FDA requires. For example, the FDA requires that we test every finished product and scientifically validate that it matches label claim. And the industry standard that the FDA allows is that you can test the product a few times. Once you do, then you just test it every other time or you test only certain amount of ingredients with raw materials. The FDA requires that you test every raw material, but the same if you test it three times and you prove it three times, then you don't have to test it again for a year. That's the industry standard. That's not allowed here. Every single batch of every single raw material that comes into my facility, I test 
every batch. They test it internally in a lab that we have here, and then it goes out to a third party lab, an independent lab, for more testing. So anything that comes into the facility is tested. Anything that comes out to you is tested and is guaranteed. And that's that's the approach we take. So it's those that set of things that we do when we try and create a product. First, the benefit that we want to produce, the formulation, the ingredients, and the manufacturing. And that's what NutriBio excels out. That's what our passion is. That's, that's what this is all about. So we're going to kind of start with the biggest changes, and that's in the perform line, what we call the, the pre-workout line. Uh, the first one that came out was perform caps. I'm going to have a bottle up here. And this is the, product, the newer version of it. Uh, and that was the first one. I think that came out early last month. Uh, so I want to just did, go yeah. over. What's that? It did. Yeah. So I want to just go over that and then start with the, the Perform Elite, the Perform Elite Caffeine Free, and the Perform uh, Elite X, which is now called Perform Extreme. Uh, so let, let's start looking at Perform Elite Caps. Because I, I think it's one of the, the best products on the market right now, and I think it has – uh, a lot of great uses because it's not in a big powder form. It has a cool delivery system. It's great for just heading out to work out or taking a couple uh, down right before you hit a race or something like that. So it's a very convenient way uh, to get uh, to increase performance, to increase focus, to increase mood, to increase all the things that you want to do when you're going through a long two to three hour workout. So if we look at this particular one, we can see the difference between the old and the new, and how those of you who think we might have done something here to cheapen the product will see uh, that that's not the case. So the first ingredient on there was a switch out. So this product had one gram of choline bitartrate, which we took out completely, and we replaced it with 600 milligrams of something called alpha GPC. Now, both these ingredients are doing kind of the same thing. They are uh, choline donors. The difference is that alpha GPC passes through the blood-brain barrier where we want it to act when we're training, where choline bitartrate does not. Choline bitartrate is very slow acting. Alpha GPC is fast acting. So we want to take it. We want to get it into the body. We want to get it in past the brain barrier and where it's going to be used, okay? Uh, the bioavailability of alpha GPC is much better than choline bitartrate. Uh, like I said, it's quicker. Absorption is much, is much, much better. So we went from a gram of choline bitartrate to 600 milligrams of alpha GPC, which yields 300 milligrams of the actual alpha glycerol phosphate. Uh, the difference in cost between the two is about 30 fold. Alpha GPC is about 30 times more expensive than choline bitartrate. So if you look at it and say, well, it's, we went from a gram to 600 milligrams, that's because 600 milligrams is the research dosage of alpha GPC. When you go into choline bitartrate, you need grams and grams of it, which gives you some negative side effects, which we don't want, which alpha GPC at the lower dosage does not. So with alpha GPC, we're getting a much quicker response for what we want. We are getting higher bioavailability and absorption, and we're getting a better benefit when we take them. And 20 minutes later, we want to get a feeling of that focus of that mental energy uh, so that's the first, the first thing that we're doing. Now, one of the things we did take out of here was taurine. We had a gram of taurine in the old formula. Uh, the reason we took it out is taurine is more of a macro. You need a lot of it. You need a minimum of two grams and, and upwards of that. And taurine is really used for hydration and, and cell volumization. It's not something that we want to, that necessarily needs to be in a product that we're using for focus, for concentration, for mood, to keep us alert while we're training. It was in there for that earlier, but since Hydrate came out, which is a new product that Matt put out specifically for that purpose, it's kind of moved into there. And by taking it out of here, this product becomes much more specific about that mental, nootropic, mental energy, mental focus, and mood product. So by changing that around, it gives us more space to do uh, other elements in here, which you'll see that we added. So taurine came out. Taurine is now put into hydrate, uh, and it's it's actually upped in some of the other formulas because if you go from perform to the perform powders, 
that's not just a mental product like this is. It's not just a nootropic and energy product for the brain. That starts to put ergogenics in it, performance aspects and stuff like that. So we, we have uh, electrolytes and stuff like that in there. So we keep the taurine in the, the larger powdered version, but took it out of here. So the next thing that we added into this was something called velvet bean. And velvet bean is added because it's, it really completes this whole formula. And we look at putting uh, caffeine into this for mental alertness, for mental energy, uh, and huprazine as acetylcholinesterase inhibitor to keep uh, choline more active. And we'll talk about these individuals later. One of the things that we're really not addressing so much is our mood. And when you work out for a long period of time and you train for a long period of time, dopamine levels start to drop, maybe 45 minutes to an hour in. And when dopamine levels drop, your focus drops, the mood, your mood drops, the way you feel drops, and we want to keep that uh, peaked out the entire time. So if you get on a bike and you're cycling, you're going for two hours or more, we want your attitude, not just your mental focus, which is important, but we want that mood to be high the whole time we're there. So we added this. It wasn't in the original form. We added 300 milligrams into there. Um, so with a decrease of dopamine over time, this is going to donate more dopamine, keep that mood peaked the entire time. Uh, from there, we added another element not in the original formula, which is rodeo prime. Uh, rhodiola is a great ingredient. We use it in a lot of different things. Uh, it's a mood elevator. It's anti-fatigue. Most rhodiola out there is a combination of two active ingredients. This one is a 6% cylindricide. There's only one company in the industry that makes it. The cylindricides are what's uh, responsible for that anti-fatigue and that more energy and mental focus. Uh, so we picked an ingredient not only that helps the formula with mental energy uh, and anti-fatigue, but also homes right in on it. Again, these last two ingredients are, are very expensive. Rodeo Prime is about eight times more expensive than basic Rodeola Rosea. So we're not just putting these ingredients in uh, for what we call window dressing, so I can sit here and talk about it, but we're putting all, each of these in at the proper active dosage, the research dosages, so that you get the experience that we're promising you. We're using the better ingredients, whether they're more expensive or not. You know, I don't put it in because it's more expensive. If I have a cheaper version of it that works just as well, if not better, I will do that. Uh, to save you money, but money is not my focus here. Making the best damn product I can is the focus. So you can see already we switched out Alpha GPC with Bitartrate, uh, from Bitartrate, Rodeo Prime is added, Velvet Bean is added, which is a L Dopa donor. Uh, theanine is added, and theanine is a really cool ingredient that I've been working with for many, many years. It's obviously an amino acid, L theanine, but what L theanine does is it potentiates the, act, the activity of caffeine. So by using it, I can add less caffeine while giving you more of the longer term effects of caffeine. And it calms the body down. It increases GABA in the body. It, re it reduces stress and it calms you down without making you tired. But what that really does in a product like this, it allows us to put caffeine in there and I know we have about 250 milligrams of caffeine in there, but it eliminates the jitteriness uh, of that caffeine. So you're not feeling, you know, unfocused, jittery all the time. It, that's a, something that I put in all my pre-workouts um, that I do when I go above 350 milligrams of caffeine because a lot of people out there take caffeine. Then caffeine stops working. Their body gets used to it. So they increase their caffeine their body starts to get used to that and they increase it again. You keep building tolerance and tolerance. The more caffeine you do, there's pre-workouts there that have 400, 500, 600, 700 milligrams of caffeine. And if you look at bro science, you know, in the gym, the caffeine is there to give you that jittery feeling to feel all hyped up. But if you ask anybody who really trains hard and focuses hard, that's exactly what they don't want, whatever you're doing. If you're lifting in a gym, you want to focus on that muscular contraction, not everybody else in the gym and what's going on around you. If you're riding a bike, you want laser focus on what you're doing. You don't want your mind unfocused, thinking you know, all over the place because you're caffeined out. So we put a really cool combination of caffeine in here, which is the same combination that Matt has always had in here, which is caffeine and hydrous, along with 
a Dicafi Malate, which is the brand is Infinergy. Same thing, Mike and Matt and I have done this together for five or so years now and all the products we've done together. Uh, and what that allows us to do is put a, what we're putting in is about 150 milligrams of caffeine in hydrous, which is fast, hard hitting. You take it, within a few minutes, you start to feel it. As that caffeine and hydrous hits a peak over the hour or so, it's gonna start to drop a bit. And that's where you start to bonk. And that's about the time where dicaffeine malate, which is a more slow release caffeine, starts to peak in. So one peaks early in the training as it starts to drop and you would normally bonk. The other one picks up and it keeps you in this steady, steady state of mental energy instead of bonking and going up and down. The L-theanine helps with that because it extends the caffeine, it potentiates the caffeine, and it calms you so it gets rid of the jitteriness of the caffeine. So you have the mental energy, you have the mental focus that we want from caffeine without that unfocused, jittery, shaky feeling that you're out there. Uh, so we've worked with this combination of three ingredients together uh, for, God, I think it's going on 12 or more years with it. And it's just a great, great combination. So we added L-theanine to this formula. Uh, Elevate ATP was already in the formula. It was at 200 milligrams. We dropped it to 150, uh, only because that's where, where the research is. Um, so there's no need to leave it up to 200 level. Matt and I looked into the research again, and the research and the suggestion is at 150, so we, we dropped that there. Uh, Actogen, which was in there before, uh, you might not see on the new label, but it is. The company call renamed it to Synactive, and we doubled the dosage of that too. So Actogen uh, is now Synactive on the label. And it's really cool because it decreases uh, in inflammatory response, which is something we want. And it helps with cell integrity. But overall, it's, it's a fatigue-resistant ingredient. Very, very expensive ingredient. Uh, one of the more expensive ingredients in the formula. And that went from, what was it, 50 to 100 milligrams. And then I talked a little earlier about Huperzine. And huperzine also works on choline levels. It's not a choline donor, but what it does, it's an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So acetylcholine esterase is the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. By inhibiting that, we can have the acetylcholine working longer, the it's working longer in the brain and in the body, throughout the body. And by using alpha GPC, we're increasing that choline we're, we're, as a choline donor. So we're affecting that choline level in t by two different ways. So the old formula had five uh, micrograms of uh, huperzine in there, and, and it probably should have been 50. It might be a label uh, mistake or something. Uh, either way, that was up to what we put in the rest of the products which is a, a, the right amount, which is 100 micrograms. And you'll see, you, you'll see Hooperzine out there at 5 milligrams, 50, 100, 200. Some people are even putting up to 300 micrograms uh, in there. Uh, I've worked with this for since 1996, actually. Nutribio was the first sports nutrition company in the U.S. to utilize Hooperzine in a sports product. Uh, we did it along with Finpositine. So we have a lot of experience with it. Too much Huperzine can start to give headaches. It can start to create some issues. So that sweet spot we find right about 100 milligrams when you're mixing it in and blending it in with alpha GPC, uh, that's where you can get the best effect. So we kept that 100 micrograms. We upped it here. We upped it in the uh, Perform Elite as well, which was at 50. Uh, so we upped it there to 100. Uh, it was a little, uh, it was actually higher in the extreme. We brought it down because that's where the dosage should be. So when you look at this product, there were a lot of really, really good changes. The only thing that went down in this whole product was we got rid of taurine because it's in hydrate and it's not really meant to be in a product like this. And Elevate ATP went down a little because it's at the research dosage. Other than that, Huperzine went from 5 to 100 micrograms. Synactive or Actogen doubled from 50 to 100 um, alpha GPC was re replaced choline by tartrate. Uh, so there's a lot of just rhodiola prime went in there, rhodiola prime went in there, velvet bean, which is L dopa, went in there. So there's mostly enhancements and improvements in here. And for those who are wondering whether we made these changes to increase profit margins, if you look at the two labels now, you'll see that's absolutely not the case. 
So when you look at taurine, taurine is the, the cheapest ingredient in, in this uh, product by far. So taurine, you know, is something like a five, six dollar uh, per kilo product. So pulling that out doesn't save you any money here. Where Alpha GPC, you're talking of something that's five to six hundred dollars a kilo. There's a major difference in the things, the price of the things we took out versus the things that we put in. So the cost of this uh, on our part to manufacture is close to triple what it originally was as far as the ingredient basis basis is on there. So it kind of gives you an idea of, of what we're trying to do here. This is not, you know, NutriBio comes in, hey, let's see how we can, uh, you know, make more money. Let's strip some of these products down, make them cheaper. It's the exact opposite. Everything we're going to do here and everything we're going to do for you is to improve these products. So why are we doing it now is a question that some of you asked. Um, NutriBio took over. Uh, why all of a sudden are we doing this? And it's simple because when Matt was running the company, as he told you in the last video, his hands were tied. He didn't have the finances to do a lot of this. He was a one-man operation, so he couldn't get his hands into everything. Uh, and there were a lot of things that he wanted to do with, with formulation changes over the last few years that he just didn't have the capability of doing because of the size of the company. Uh, Nutribio was not some huge conglomerate. It's a small company. I own it. I'm 100% owner. I, I have no investors. I have no VC venture capitalists in here. It's just me. I started in 1996 out of the basement of one of my karate schools, and, and I've built it up since then. It's just a company filled with very, very passionate people who just want to make a difference and want to make a change. And that's the same, same idea and the, the same focus that Matt had. In, in there. So when we took over, since we have that capability with manufacturing here, we understand in this supply chain crisis that's going out there, we know what's going on and we have greater capabilities of getting ingredients. You know, Matt and I sat down and said, well, this is a time to change because up till now, contract manufacturers were, more, were, were making all these products. I won't use contract manufacturers because I need to control what I'm making. Every day I'm here, I'm in this facility, I see every aspect of manufacturing. I control it from, the, like I said earlier, every single raw ingredient that, that's coming into this facility to the, the manufacturing, to the label, to its, the final research, the final um, study that's done on it when it goes out to the labs to make sure it's matching our label claim. So I can see and control and get my hands on every aspect of it. So this seemed to be the perfect time since we were taken from outside manufacturers to, to inside here since I had that capability and I have a, it's not just Matt and I and myself who are in, on the team, Matt was involved in all these formulation changes. I've been doing formulas and working with them for 26 years, but I have Robert in here, who's our research scientist who goes out and research every one of these ingredients. So we have a, a team of people that get together on these. And, not, and I think I, I mentioned this a few times, but one person who's not on that team is our bookkeeper or accountant or anybody in that area. It's a team of people who are involved in the science of the product, the passion of the product, the benefit that we're trying to get to you, and that's it. Then we hand that off to them for them to curse and scream at me like I'm a little child and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, if we were on Shark Tank with this attitude, we'd probably be thrown off in seconds. But, uh, you know, my father taught me from when I was a little kid, you take care of the customer first and everything else comes behind. If you're watching just profits, then your customer base never builds. So that's how I run the company. So that's why we, we made these changes now, because we're bringing them in-house, we're bringing them into my manufacturing. Uh, Matt and I sat down uh, with a couple other people in the formulation division, and Michael and, and Robert, and we went through these. There are going to be more changes to be made. Not everything that we want to make as far as changes could be made right away. Some ingredients that aren't available, there's different things uh, that we want to do to better these products. But this is an ongoing process for us. It's not something that we're making a change today to this particular product, perform elite caps, and then it's going to sit here for 10 years. Uh, I might find something in a year from now where more science or more research comes out or a different type of choline that works a little better or something comes out, and I might change it. I might see that research tomorrow. And the batch that I made you today will be a little bit different than the batch I make you next month. I don't have rules of how long it sits, a formula stays. When we, so we're actively watching the science, we're actually seeing how these things work out in the gyms, out in the street, out with our customers who are riding, we're doing stuff. So it's both the science, it's the research, it's within the lab, and it's how people feel and how it responds to them outside of the lab. And we're watching that on a daily basis and we'll make changes 
uh, daily, weekly, monthly, annually, it doesn't matter to me, but whatever we, we have to do to make the product better. So that answers the question that, excuse me, that came in a little earlier about why now? Uh, is it just for money? No, it's not. It's for creating a better product and to kind of catch up on the last couple of years of science that have been there and uh, we weren't able to, to make those changes. So let's go beyond perform elite caps and let's look at the, the next three products, which are all kind of related. There's perform elite, which is the basic pre-workout. That is identical to perform elite caffeine free, which we just take the caffeine out and we take the Infinergy out. And then there's a third product, which was the X version of it, what they call the formulators cut that we now call extreme. It was just a little easy. One of the things that we heard from people is they couldn't figure out perform, perform elite, perform elite X. Uh, so we just changed it to extreme uh, so you can understand it. But what we did here is we, we made one base formula that runs straight throughout all three of these now. So for example, beetroot was higher in the extreme than it was in the, in the normal one. And we, we kind of took a lot of the base ingredients of what is the, the best level that we want. And that's the base for the entire series. And then when we get to the extreme, we add a few different ingredients and we get to the caffeine free, we take out a couple of ingredients, but the base of all three of them are now the same, which before they were a little all over the place. Uh, so to give you an example of that, uh, I think I started with it was, if we look at just Perform Elite, uh, the beetroot was 1,670 milligrams, in the extreme was 2,000. So we, the better dosage obviously is the 2,000, so we brought that up as part of the base formula straight across Perform, Elite, Perform Elite Cat Free, and Perform Extreme. So it has now risen from 1,670 to 2,000. The taurine level in all three of these was at 1,500 milligrams, a little low. You know, the basic of it should be around two grams. So we increased the taurine levels. Remember I told you, I took it out of the caps because the purpose of the caps is not hydration, it's not ergogenic, it's mind focused, mood, nootropic. And that wasn't part of it. But in here, where this is more of an all-in-one pre-workout that has VO2, we're trying to get blood moving, we're trying to get endurance, we're trying to get muscle energy, uh, more of an ergogenic effect, this is where it should be. So here we took the taurine, and from 1,500, we upped it to 2 milligrams. The Pico-2 stayed the same. Uh, theobromine is a, a really cool ingredient. Uh, that was in the extreme that I decided really should be in all three. So it was not in Perform Elite. I brought it back into the Perform Elite. So it's now part of that base formula. Uh, Alpha GPC was in, it's interesting because Matt had the Alpha GPC in the Perform Elite, but not in the capsules. Uh, in the Perform Elite, we left it there because that's what we want all around but we also doubled the dosage of it there. So it was 300 milligrams. It now goes up to 600 milligrams. And this is one of those ingredients that's kind of tricky out there because you'll see people say 300 milligrams and we say 600, but the ingredient is called alpha GPC, powder. But the active ingredient is only 50% of that. And that active ingredient is alpha GPC, alpha glycerol phosphate. So companies will tell you there's 300 milligrams of alpha GPC in there and that's the research amount, but it's alpha GPC, not the active component of it, which is 50% less. So it gets tricky the way companies will play games with this out there. The, the, the study and the research is on 300 milligrams of the actual element within alpha GPC, alpha GPC powder, alpha, alpha glycerol phosphate. So we actually have that 300 milligrams, which would be 600 milligrams of the non-active portion in there. And that 600 now carries through from the capsules to the base formula, Perform Elite, to Perform Extreme. It's straight across the whole, few, uh, the whole three. So there was none in the caps. There's a half dosage in Perform Elite and a full dosage in Extreme. Now it's a full dosage straight across the board. Uh, Infinergy, same thing. So the caffeine component is now straight the same across the board. For some reason, Matt had it a little lower uh, in here and we talked about it. You know, he, he, he thought as I did, it should be the same. So what the Infinity component of it, that slower release caffeine that takes over halfway through uh, was at 90 here, and it's been brought up back up to 133. 
So the caffeine portion of it, 150 milligrams and 133 milligrams of uh, dicaffeinamylate Infinergy, which will end up being a total of 250 milligrams of actual caffeine and a long release, a slow release version of it, uh, is the same in the caps, the elite and the extreme. It's just taken out of the caffeine free, uh, obviously. Another thing that we did uh, straight across the board here is the Hooperzine. We talked about that earlier. Acetylcholine esterase inhibitor was at 50 milligrams here, 5 milligrams uh, on the caps, and 200 milligrams on the extreme. It's been brought to 100 milligrams, so that's part of that base formula that goes straight through all three of them. And that's really the sweet spot that we found uh, over the years that really, really works in coordination, in combination with alpha GPC. And the velvet bean, the L-DOPA donor, uh, has also been put in all three. So if you look at the Performing Elite caps, Performing Elite, and Performing Elite Extreme, you'll have that same base in ingredient profile of Alpha GPC, Infinergy, Caffeine, Hooperzine, and uh, velvet bean L-DOPA for mind and mood. Uh, so you can see a lot of different increases in there. Velvet bean went from zero to 300, Hooperzine from 50, to 100, infinity from 90 to 133, alpha GPC from 300 to 600, the abromine from zero to 100, pico 2 stayed the same, taurine went up 500, and beetroot went up 230. So every single one of the ingredients on the top portion of the formula were either replaced with something better, uh, or I mean, added with something better, or increased. So there was no decrease at all in this formula so far. So those of you who are worried that I'm coming in to, to do that, you can see right here, from the Perform Elite, which carries through that base to the Form Extreme, has, has all been upped. Um, the beta alanine in it stayed the same. That is the clinical dose. That's a research dose. There's two types of research on beta alanine, one at 32, and one that goes up to six grams. Six grams is uh, a very good dose to do. The only problem is that if you take six grams uh, for that research, you're gonna start feeling your face start to itch and tingle all the cells in your body and nerves start to tingle and it causes a, a very, very bad reaction. So the research on it at 32 milligrams is what we're all using, most of the industry uses. Uh, and that's what's in both of these formulas. That's what Matt had in there. Elevate ATP, same as the other, as the, the caps, went from 200 down to 150 because that's the science, that's the research on it. And then Actogen, which is now called Synactive, same base as all three of them, went from 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams. So in that formula, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the ingredients were either increased, doubled, or added that weren't there before. Only one went down, which is elevated ATP, and the other three uh, stayed the same. So once again, you can see these enhancements are for benefit for you. They are not for me making more money here. I keep going with that because I just saw that like, I had four of those questions come across today. So I'm just going to drill that into you. And it's not me saying it. It's right here on paper. It's the science. It's the math of the formulas. You can see exactly what, what we did. Uh, so you understand that. So Perform Extreme now, a little different. Uh, again, we took Perform Extreme and the Elite, and we melded them. The base formula is identical on both. So the Beat is now identical. The Taurine is identical. The Pico 2, Theobromine, Alpha GPC, Infinity Caffeine, Hooperzine. Uh, L-DOPA is all the same, beta alanine, l atp and uh, Synactive are all the same, the base formulas, but then we added a couple of elements to it. So that Matt had it already in, so we added cluster dextrin. So why is, and we left it at the same, I'm a huge believer in cluster dextrin. If you've seen any of our social media, we, over the last few weeks, uh, Mitsubishi, who, who owns cluster dextrin, was here at our facilities. Uh, we are the number one purchaser of cluster dextrin in the United States. It's a great complex carbohydrate that is a slow release, gives you energy over your workout. It does not spike insulin, which is what you do not want to do while you're training. You don't want to spike insulin, have that sugar high, that sugar rush, and then drops back down, and then you bonk, and then you eat a candy bar or something to get it back up. You want that steady release of carbohydrate, of sugar into your body, and that's what's great about cluster dextrin. And what's also important about cluster dextrin is the way it digests in the body is that it comes out of the stomach into the small intestine very, very quickly so that it does not give any gastric upset or stuff. When you use too much dextrose or maltodextrin, you start to get bloated, you start to get gas, you start to get upset stomach. 
So cost deduction is literally uh, 20 times more expensive than maltodextrin. So when you see a formula filled with maltodextrin, which is also a good complex carb, okay, and you see cost deduction, it's not in the same price category. There's a major, major difference between it. Cost deduction is in the couple of maltodextrin is in like a couple dollar range now. So actually, I misquoted. It's about eight times more expensive. So when you're doing that as a macronutrient at 10 or 20 milligrams of it at a time, you can see how that really affects the price of a product. But cluster deduction is the carbohydrate that you want in your workout as a complex carbohydrate while you're training because of that purpose. Uh, if I'm taking it afterwards, you know, I might not want cluster deduction after my workout or later on because I might want a, a little increase in blood sugar to get my proteins in and my amino acids in. But during training, that's what, you, that's what you want in this particular formula. And when you look at uh, recover, you'll see that dextrose is added to, to something like that to spike insulin, to get, all, uh, to, to get all of your macronutrients into your body quickly, to replenish glycogen as quickly as you can. So different formulas require different ingredients to get you where you want to be. Uh, so uh, Matt and I have both been huge believers in cost deduction uh, for many, many years. So that stayed the same in this formula. Uh, what you will see is one of the main ingredients in here is citrulline malate. And citrulline malate is gone now and it's replaced with citrulline. So you had six grams of citrulline malate. Uh, it's now replaced. So what is the difference between citrulline malate and citrulline? Well, there is no such thing as citrulline malate at all. It's not manufactured. It hasn't been in years. I used to use citrulline malate. Uh, we had the sole manufacturer of it for two or three years after the rest stopped making it. Our manufacturer shut down, gosh, going five or so years ago because of the expense to actually make a molecularly bonded citrulline malate and nobody wanted to pay compared to citrulline. So there is no citrulline malate available. I broke this scam like five or six years ago. Um, what's available now is a blend of citrulline and malic acid not the same, okay? Uh, taking citrulline and taking malic acid and dropping it into a container and shaking it up is like taking salt and pepper and putting it in a container and shaking it up. You still have two separate molecules that react different than one molecularly bonded molecule, which was citrulline malate. Uh, so we replaced it before at, uh, we don't know what the manufacturer was using for citrulline malate. Uh, they did not tell us we could uh, open a bottle and send it to the lab and see. But when you see citrulline malate, it, it's usually a two to one, two parts citrulline to one part malic acid, which means out of that six grams of citrulline, you were getting actually four grams of citrulline and two grams of malic acid, which is basically something that's already in the product that we add to it to make that product uh, to help with the flavor system of the product. It's a great ingredient. Uh, it's part of, of this, the, the Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle of the body. But it's not doing that much as far as as far as uh, citric as far as what it should be doing in the body. So you really went from four grams uh, of citrulline to six grams of citrulline, and that's a hard decision for a company to make right now because of the supply chain. Citrulline is one of probably the fourth ingredient that has exploded the highest. Citrine is 300% higher today than it was a year ago. So to make that decision to switch from citrine malate, which is dirt cheap because it's filled with malic acid, that's a few dollars a kilo, to citrine is a hard decision to make, but it's the right decision because that's what should be in this product. So it's a huge cost increase to do that, but it's what should be in the product, so that's why we did it. So you'll notice on your bottle, citrulline malate is gone at six grams, and it's been replaced with citrulline at six grams. The ornithine stayed the same, big believer in ornithine. Uh, ornithine is not as, you know, it, it has great, great benefit. The research on it uh, is not as convincing over the years, but uh, what we found it actually in the street, which is not pure science, is that we get much more benefit when we use it than not. So Matt and I have both been proponents of it. So that third section is uh, cluster dextrin, citrulline malate, and ornithine are all the add-ons 
to the perform to make it perform extreme. And uh, we might as well talk about what citrulline does. Uh, citrulline basically increases something called nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a gas that's actually released in the arteries that smoothens out the arteries. And it causes blood flow to increase. So citrulline malate allows blood to flow quicker in the body. It allows for increased oxygenation, increased delivery of blood, which is, means increased delivery of oxygen to the muscle tissues. Uh, excellent product out there. It's also involved in reduction of ammonia and some other things in there. So a, a, a well-needed ingredient in this product. And I think now it's in the product in the way it should be with six grams as opposed to four grams uh, in there. So that does a basic breakdown of Perform Elite caps, shows you how we took Perform Elite, caffeine free and extreme, made a base that runs right through all of them, and then either took the caffeine out of one, or in the case of the extreme, we added three new elements to it to give a little more, a lot actually more benefit. Uh, I don't know if any questions have come in why I've been on this long diatribe for the last 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, there haven't been any questions about the perform. Um, we've okay. had several other questions come in though. So if you, we, do we wanna? Yeah, what kind of questions do you have? Let's see. No, I can't find. Can we, we've got lots no. of people asking about ship dates on new products. Okay. Um, we can expect to see like the calf free, when we can expect to see the extreme. Okay, so let me go over all that. Uh, we try and keep these uh, estimates of time the best we can. Uh, we have the manufacturing capacity to make these products, but if you listen to my last, uh, any of my other videos that I've done, we are in the middle of a supply chain crisis in this country. Uh, our industry is hit very, very badly. Ingredients have gone up from 20%. To some are up at six, seven hundred percent. Getting ingredients is nearly impossible. Manufacturing turnaround dates for contract manufacturers have gone from four weeks to 26 weeks. Companies are not even take giving pricing. That pricing changes after, you know, right before they go into manufacture, which is 22 weeks later. It is a catastrophe trying to get bottles caps, labels, cardboard, and the 400 ingredients. It doesn't mean the stuff's not coming out. It means it, it kind of affects it a week or so here or there. Uh, so the capsules obviously are out. The Recover, two formulas are out. Uh, two flavors are out. The Perform Extreme is coming out probably Monday of this week in one flavor. And then we added another flavor the next week. Uh, we just are going into manufacturing in the caffeine-free now. The caffeine-free was available in one flavor before, uh, and now it's going to be available in three. So we added a new flavor called, what was it, something strawberry? I, I don't remember the names. So. Uh, yeah, that's a great, Sensational strawberry, yes, we, winning watermelon, I think, and uh, the citrus, the, the, the fruit. The fruit one. So we're going. We, we should have that. Two of them coming out next, the end of next week, uh, early the following week, and then a third one, which is a brand new flavor, uh, coming out the week after that. So you're going to go from one flavor in the next few weeks to having a choice of three different flavors in that. The same time we're manufacturing the base formula. So uh, the Perform Elite, you have like two choices right now. The old version is going to be out there but the new version is gonna be there as well. So you can, I think we just, or we are, or we're about to put the Perform Elite older version on sale at 30% off. So if you really like the version, you can pick up a bunch of bottles of that. Uh, we wanna get tomorrow. the version out as quickly as possible. I want product that I'm manufacturing, that I'm controlling, that I understand exactly what's in it, in your hands. So we're going to uh, put the sale on that so that moves. But I think with probably in two to three weeks, the Perform Elite and four flavors will be coming out. So the three flavors that you already have will be out in the new formula. And then the Sensational or whatever strawberry will be coming out in that too. So we're going from one in caffeine free to three flavors. We're going from three to four flavors there. The Extreme probably in two to three months, we'll add another flavor to that. Uh, Recover Elite in the next few months, we'll add another flavor to that. 
Uh, I know sustained release has a back order on one of the flavors. We're looking at that now. We're, we're thinking probably 45 days out <clears throat> to get more flavors of that in and to tweak that formula a, a little bit. Um, the vitamin is going into production this week. So we're hoping to have that out to you within two weeks. Um, so that should be pretty much everything. Uh, I know you're concerned about the multivitamin. That's coming out very quickly. Uh, let me just check date on that. We had questions about... I'm hoping about um, three weeks on that. Yeah. About sleep. Um, sleep should be what, out there. What, no, what changes to expect if they're expecting any new changes for the sleep elite? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm actually, and I have been using the Sleep Elite. I love that product. I don't know if there's going to be any changes to it. Uh, there's two of them there. But Matt and I have been talking about whether we need two different sleep products. We'll probably put that question out to you guys on the Facebook page, who likes which product better and why. Um, and that's something that's a little long-term, so you'll probably see – both sleep products out there probably four or five months before we even touch that. Uh, but I, you know, again, I, I love the extreme version of it. So I don't see that changing much. I love the taste of it. We might add a flavor or two onto that in the near future. Uh, the hydrate as well. We might add a few flavors to that. That'll have a few changes uh, that we'll probably switch to the Albion versions of the amino acids like we've done in recover. Uh, and, and any of the products that have amino acids, the chelated versions are much more bioavailable. So you'll see changes like that over time. Uh, One of the questions came in, and this is, you. we've touched that base on all of the performs, which are our pre-workouts, came through. What's the best supplement to take before an endurance event? Personally, I, I like to take the Perform Elite caps. I'm not looking for the tinglies that come with beta alanine. I like the focus that I get on my long endurance training sessions, um, those two plus hours. That's, I guess that's more of a personal question. Mark, what do you think? Well, I'm a, if this comes down to a race or something like that, where you're, you know, I'm a big believer in the perform caps and then adding uh, the proper macronutrients we don't have a straight cluster dextrin out for you guys yet. Nutribio has one called Super Carb, but if you're doing a hard bout of exercise for two hours, that's something that I would definitely put, put in water. Uh, if the 3.2 grams of uh, beta alanine does not bother you, and most people it doesn't, or they, you know, I don't know how long, Sheila, you've been, you've been working with it, but after a while it kind of disappears. Uh, so, you know, I would, be up to using the extreme version of that, the new, what we call extreme version of that over because I like the uh, cluster dextrin there. The only thing about doing like a hardcore race where you're really, really upping your pace is you want to make sure you don't have any stomach issues. So if you don't have any stomach issues that where you're taking more of that powder at one time and, and you know, pre taking it at one shot, right, you know, 20 minutes before, uh, then they are fine to take. They're going to give you energy, uh, beta alanine, is incredible for that. But one thing you have to understand about beta alanine also, it's in a lot of pre-workouts, but it doesn't work as pre-workout. It's something you need to take every day and it builds up in the system like creatine monohydrate. It doesn't matter what point of time of the day it takes. So taking beta alanine out is not really gonna drop your performance level if you've been taking it every day. It builds up in the system and that's when you get that long-term energy and endurance out of it. So ha having that right before like a hard bout where you definitely don't want any stomach issues or anything like that is up to you and how you feel and whether you do or not. Um, but I think we're going to get some um, super carb or something out in the next three months or a way for you to get it because that's something that's really, really important to put right into your water, to drink throughout, no jittery, no energy, no uh, you know, spikes up or down, just a constant. Because when you look at all this stuff, and, and you look at like perform caps. Perform caps are working with crea with caffeine and stimulating your mind and dopamine and stimulating your mood. But to have energy long term, besides having to train for, you need that base macronutrient. You need glucose going in. You need ATP production, which comes from that. You need energy, and that energy comes from macronutrients from carbs. 
So I'm a huge believer in, in cluster dextrin for in my water. I, I do that when I do long bouts of training. I do that when I get on a dirt bike and go four hours into, into the desert. I mean, that's a hardcore burn. And I have that in my, in my water, in my camelback the, the entire time because otherwise I start to lose that, you know, energy throughout. And when you lose energy, forget all the nootropics you're taking, your mind starts to, to lose it. There's no glucose going to your brain then your brain is going to go the opposite direction because your brain cannot convert fat into glucose. Your body can, your brain can't. Your brain cannot convert proteins into glucose. Your body can. Your brain needs glucose getting into it, needs sugar getting into it. So, you know, these are things we'll talk about more and Matt's talked about a lot over time, uh, but it's a personal preference. And that personal preference is based on whether you get any stomach upset from taking and downing you know, something like the Extreme, which has more powder in it itself beforehand. If it doesn't, it's a great product to take. The last question that came in while we were, while you were talking today was asking about when uh, it might be available. And this is, again, uh, down in Africa or possibly other places in the world. Oh, definitely. Uh, not until we convert the, the line over. Uh, Again, it's just me and manufacturing. I, I want to know that if I'm going to put something out in the marketplace, that I know exactly what it is. And we didn't discuss it, but I don't have it here. But the carb shot, we had to pull one of the flavors off the market. Uh, come a couple of you got it, complained. There was some stuff floating around in there. Uh, we pulled it back in. Uh, I took, uh, I think, eight of them here. And we saw that there was a breakdown in that ingredient in the... Uh, what was in there, uh, carb went in there. Uh, we don't know what caused one of the products to go black because we didn't see that. But when we looked at the rest of them, it was just not a product I would allow on the marketplace. So I took a beating in that and I took one of the flavors completely off the marketplace. We went back to the manufacturer to see why that product's breaking down because if it's breaking down in the bottle and it started to get clumps in there and the powder is starting, the, the liquid is starting to get cloudy in one, opaque in another, chunks it was different straight across the board hey it can be perfectly fine we don't have the test results yet it could just be the way that the carbon there is coagulating over time but it also could be breaking down i mean it could be pure sugar in here right now we don't know so as soon as i had two customers bring that to our attention and we brought it in here this is not our lab but this is my lab here and this whole counter behind me was filled with bottles of it to try and see what's going on so we pulled that up what we're doing with that is i We'll probably bring some more to the market because it's a really good product. But over time, we're looking at changing the delivery system of that. So instead of you taking, uh, you know, that big quart, one point something pound bottle of it around, they, we're going to put it into gel packs uh, to make it more convenient to do on race day or training or just take along with you. So we're doing a lot of work on that right now. Uh, but that's not something that's going to be in the next few weeks. That's something that's more like 60 to 90 days out in that particular product. And that's what we're looking at for a lot of this stuff is how can we make the delivery systems better for you uh, so that you can use them, you know, in the particular sport and activity that you're using. So, you don't, you know, one thing for me is I love my pre-workout, but when I travel, I hate bringing that huge tub of it. I hate putting it in little baggies and taking those baggies around and I get into the airport and they always search my suitcase. I have no idea why. And they think I have little bags of cocaine in there. I mean, you wouldn't believe the, the, the remarks that I've gotten and how many times I've been pulled in back rooms uh, at airports. Uh, so I, I'm not a lover of that, and I travel a lot with my supplements. So we're looking to create you know, stick packs for powders for you guys. You can put it right into your Camelback or right into your water bottle. Uh, right into a bottle of water they bought right right from CVS or wherever you're, you're getting it. So that's something you'll see, you know, worked on over more of a, a midterm, like six months out. Uh, but we're already doing that right now. So we're already looking at, at it. And as far as what I've been working on the last couple of months, we're looking into what are some of the best um, places that we can meet you guys in person, right? Matt was always about going out to events and shaking hands and cheering you guys on while you were doing your events. And that created this awesome family of fast. So we've been looking at um, 
where are you guys at right now? What are you doing in your lives? We know that summertime, we start to pick up on these big endurance events. So if there are places that you guys want to see us, you guys can absolutely uh, message us on Instagram, on Facebook. You can email me directly, Sheila at EnduroElite.com. But we want to start getting out and meeting you guys in person. And we know that that's important for you. And it's important for us to keep those relationships that Matt has built over the years. Um, if there's things outside of the supplements that you guys want to see us do, um, I know that we've brought back um, so far shirts, the awesome shirt that Mark has on right now. Um, we've got really cool uh, trucker style hats that are going to be released tomorrow, but shaker bottles, ice shakers, camelbacks. If there's things like that that you guys want just to, that you guys use in your everyday training and your everyday life, um, we want to be part of that. We want you guys to be able to be proud of the brand that you guys have been loyal to for so long with Matt. Um, and yeah, we, we're just happy that you guys um, have stuck through this. When you guys have questions, reach out. We're happy to answer. Um, and again, we're just, we're building off of something awesome that Matt has already created. Yeah. I, I don't know if I fully answered that question. So let me go back. Yes, we will be going out to Africa and other countries, but <laughs> the time is, when the time is right, I'm not believing in rushing things. Uh, if I'm not ready, if the brand is not ready, and if the product's not ready. But you will see us go out to, to make it more convenient for you into stores probably in six months or so uh, into Nutribio's distribution center, you know, distribution center going out. I think we're in 3,800 stores across the country. Uh, so you'll start to see some of these products more uh, convenient for you to find out there, but that's going to be uh, over time. Well, with what Sheila said, you know, we're not just a company that wants to be in the background. Uh, you know, Sheila's put her life into, into her training, what she does, and we're very active with our customers. So if there's shows that you think are that are great for us to be at, you know, we, we want to get out there. We want to build our team. We want to build a team of athletes uh, that we have. We want to build a team of, of demo reps out there that can go and talk about the products to people and, and to the stores when we start going. So if any of you are interested in getting involved in the company that way, uh, let us know. Uh, if it's just that you love the product, you know, anything that you want to see, any product, that we, we don't have right now, you know, throw it up on Facebook or Instagram or, or however you want to reach out to us. You know, Haley and her team are going to be watching that every day. And we're going to be answering any questions that you have and listening to what you say about the changes and the flavors and what you want and what you don't want. So start being, you know, active in that. If you, if there's some kind of delivery system you want, I mean, we're, we're, I'm just not making it up in my head over here in the lab. I, you know, we're asking as many people in different categories and, and athletics as we can, because that's what we want to do. We want the product to be beneficial to you, but we want it convenient to you at the same time. So any ideas you have, any way you want to join in with the company, uh, with the brand, become part of the brand, please do. I mean, everybody here, uh, you know, Haley started in customer service and she trains every day. She just won her own competition. You know, this is companies about the passion of, of what we're trying to achieve. You know, our VP Dan started here as a demo rep and then a competitor, then an athlete. And now he's executive VP of the company. You know, everybody, we all train, we're all into different athletics, but we're not sedentary people. We're not, a, you know, a bunch of overweight people eating French fries, burgers, and, uh, chips and then you know trying to tell you what you should do right in your lives we all believe in this it's a passion that we have we might believe differently in different sports and athletics and uh, different ways of doing it but it's it's who we are and it's what we live and it's why this company is what it is uh it's my background and it's everything i have and all the passion that i have we, we don't want it to be any different with uh Endurly because that's what matt had for Endurly and that's what i've had for this company so when we combine the two you know, it's, it's going to be the, it's going to be the same thing and it's the way we're going to move forward. Uh, one of the things we didn't discuss is recovery lead. It's a simple one. So let me just go into there. Not many changes there. You know, basically there's a good carb mix in there, carb matrix in there. And Matt has really, you know, done the research on this as far as using two to three different types of carbs to get into your body because one carb only is going to create some issues. Uh, so the only really change in this is we got rid of the brown rice as a complex carb because it was too, too little of it, didn't serve any purpose, and we replaced it with cluster dextrin. So we got rid of 2.6 grams there, and we brought the cluster dextrin from 7.4 to 10. 
Um, we still left the ratio, which is the proper ratio, four to one carbs to protein right in there. It is the same, so that didn't change at all. Um, we did uh, pull out the acetyl carnitine out of there, and we replaced it with glutamine. Uh, glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in the body. It starts to, to, to drop during intense training. It has to do a lot with recovery, with a lot of different things. So Matt and I sat down and we looked at the research. We thought that was a better ingredient for the product. Um, the actogen's inactive. We doubled in there. And we also added something called astrogen. Uh, astrogen is an ingredient that increases bioavailability. And it's important in this because of the protein and the amino acids. It has a lot of good research of increased amino acid bioavailability and getting those amino acids to your body. So we added that. We replaced um, some of the aminos with more bioavailable amino acids. You know, we're a big believer in a company called Albion who does a lot of research into different types of delivery systems like chelated glycinates and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot of that around the products as we develop more electrolyte formulas, which is something we're getting into very heavily over the next few months, more, you know, more hydration and electrolyte formulations that are coming to you. You'll see only the best of each of those ingredients in there. So we switched that around. But Recovery Elite didn't, didn't uh, except for the switch from glutamine acetyl, uh, the addition of um, actogen, astrogen, I'm sorry, and changing actogen and doubling that. It's basically the same formula. Uh, all these formulas are phenomenal formulas. So there was, if you notice everything we did, there was no like rework where we said, oh God, we got to start all over here. Matt, it's just an amazing formula. I was involved in some of the stuff early on with Matt. Matt was always involved in our formulations. Uh, <clears throat> so we think the same way, but we believe the same way. So the difference is the science changes year to year. Uh, and we're, we, these are just small tweaks that we put in that I think make the products better. So Matt and I are in agreement on all of this. Um, so that's it. I don't think we've changed anything else up to this point. We talked a little bit about some of the other formulas that will be coming out. Uh, I think that covers really what we wanted to talk about today, unless there's any other questions. I think one just kind of came in. They were asking about creatine, if we plan on carrying that again in the Endure Elite line. Uh, yeah, I think what's going to happen, I mean, we're, we're building a website soon. Uh, where Endura Elite it will maintain this website. Nutribio will have its own website. But you'll be able to, on top, switch between the websites and be able to purchase back and forth some of the things. Uh, creatine, we, we always have. I'm a huge believer in creatine. I've been taking creatine for the last 30 years. Uh, we sell a lot of creatine. A lot of people are scared of creatine because they think about bloating. Women are scared of creatine for that reason. But creatine is the most researched dietary supplement, the most researched sports supplement on the marketplace. Even if it didn't help in a in performance, if you look at the research, there's hundreds and hundreds of studies done on irritable bowel movement, focus. I mean, it's incredible the amount of research and the amount of underutilization of creatine on the marketplace. It really shouldn't be just a sports supplement. It should be something that everybody is taking as a daily out there. So yeah, we're not gonna get, a, get rid of creatine, whether it works its way as a Nutri product, Nutri bio product that you can just switch over and buy that. It's still available on the market. Uh, it's still available here. So you'll still be able to get it there. Once we start running low, I'm not sure if we're just gonna have two same same thing in two different bottles, or we'll just crisscross it and make it available. And I think the same thing's going to happen with the whey protein, uh, because you know, Nutribio is known for its whey protein. It's our isolate is something we've we've worked on for twenty some odd years to get it where it is today, with the least amount of lactose, the least amount of sugars in there, the least amount of saturated fats in there, the highest level uh, uh, of of uh, protein ratio. You can see some of the videos out there. Nutribio has been the company that has set the pace uh, for proteins and trained the, the entire world on what protein ratios are, how to read a protein label, how to understand the difference between proteins and what companies are, are taking advantage and ripping you off and understanding. There's a lot of videos I put out on that. So it's one of our fortes. Uh, so whether when uh, Endura Elite's whey proteins sell out, whether we just bottle them again or we just have one versus the other. I'm not sure where we're going to go with that. that. You know, we did that with the vegan protein. They're, they're the same because if it, originally we wanted the companies were going to be totally separate. And if you were in the last video, you saw how Matt and I, <clears throat> that all changed. 
<clears throat> so a lot of people had asked for a vegan protein. That's one of the things that Matt wanted us to come out with. <clears throat> so the vegan protein you have is the same as the vegan protein on the Nutribio side because we thought the company's going to be totally separated. But after we all started working together, we realized it's the same it's the same group of people. It's the same attitude. It's the same lifestyle. Everybody just, you know, we have this, this group called BioCrew, which we hope you all join. BioCrew is on Nutribio. Um, everybody on Nutribio is just, BioCrew has jumped into Enduralite products right now. Uh, so now the people who are, who are Nutribio um, customers who are doing athletics that are a little bit different and, and do more endurance sports are now taking the other products. So the whole family has come together so well. So now we're stuck with the same product in two different bottles. Uh, it's not something I really think is, is worthwhile doing. Uh, so we'll see how some of these things like creatine and whey protein and the vegan protein work their way out over the next year or so. Um, and that's kind of how I joined originally is because when I came out as an athlete for Nutribio, I was competing year after year in CrossFit and which is definitely an endurance sport, the amount that I was training hours and hours on end to be able to compete at that elite level. And then um, unfortunately I had to have a couple of surgeries, long story short. And so when Mark first said, Hey, you know, we have this opportunity with Endurly, I told him, no, like I'm loyal to Nutribio. This is my family. This is everything. The bio crew is, is what I'm about. He's like, but Sheila, this is, like geared towards everything that you've always done. We're going to do the same thing that Nutribio has always done with the, um, with our manufacturing, with our testing, with everything. And I was like, well, this is, so when it's, when somebody asks like, are you guys going to carry creatine again? Um, Nutribio, I mean, Mark has always had creatine and he's always had this whey protein isolate that I've always believed in. Um, so Mark is saying basically like, we believe so much in Enduralite, but we believe so much in the family of the bio crew as well that we know that, um, you know, learning to go back and forth between those two is going to be huge for all of us. Yeah. By the way, nobody knows that Creative Mono is on the website there. If, if the folks out there knew it wouldn't be there right now, there is no creatine in the marketplace right now. Creatine went literally from like five bucks a kilo to $36 a kilo out there for, that's for crappy, it's not the material we use. But it is literally seven times more expensive. Only about 10% that was on the market a year ago is on the market today to make it from. We're one of the only companies that even have it because we've been dealing with it for, for close to 30 years. Uh, the price of it has gone out, out crazy. And I, I always look at it and say, wow, we don't have that much creatine in Endurly, but nobody knows about it, so nobody's bought it out. Uh, our, our site goes, you know, we make 20,000 bottles and it's gone in three days. You know, it's, it's crazy. So uh, if it's out there, you should, you should get it. It's an amazing product. For those of you who don't know how it works, it's ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is the energy currents, currency of muscle movement. And adenosine triphosphate has three molecules of phosphate attached. And when that third one cleaves off, the, the energy in that bond releases. And that's the energy that allows for muscle contraction. The problem is there's no more ATP. It's now ADP. Well, that, that last phosphate molecule is now free-floating. doesn't stay free-floating long if there's creatine around. Because creatine bonds with that phosphate, creating something called creatine phosphate. So now you have adenosine diphosphate and creatine phosphate. When the body needs it, it then combines it takes the creatine phosphate and it cleaves the phosphate off of it the energy in that bond that's released allows that phosphate to rebond to the adenosine diphosphate and it's a circular motion of adenosine diphos triphosphate releasing a phosphate the energy in that bond releases for for contraction of the muscle creates a new molecule that then attaches to green phosphate reattaches to create uh, adenosine triphosphate and circular. It's the limiting, creatine tends to be the limiting factor in adenosine triphosphate in energy. So, I mean, it's good for every single sport. It's good for so many things out there. And it's one reason, it's kind of interesting that like Nutribio used to sell a kilo of creatine for like $17.99 about a year ago. Now, 300 grams is 34.99. Imagine that difference. And we thought it would just, the whole industry thought it would die. But what we learned is creatine is so important and so well known to people that they're, that they're paying that price. It's not us making that money off you. It's the cost to, 
out there that it's just absolutely absurd to, to get creatine, but it's such an important product that the people who take it and know it, that, that they're just willing to pay that price. And unfortunately, that price has been very, very high. It started to drop. You know, we just went down a couple of dollars on it. Uh, but then it just jumped right back up, and we do not know when that's going to turn around. But if you have creatine, if you haven't tried creatine, uh, don't worry about the bloating. Good creatine does not cause bloat. Uh, any type of water retention is inside the muscle tissue, not outside the muscle tissue. Uh, and it's just, a, it's just a great ingredient, like I said, the most studied ingredient. If you haven't used it, I would give it a try for energy, for strength, for everything. Uh, any other questions out there, guys? All right, we plan on doing this again uh, next. Yeah, we plan on doing this again next month or in a few weeks, whenever we think you know we want to get some more info out to you. Uh, we're all available here. You know, I'm available. Sheila's available. Uh, Haley's available to talk to. She's running social media. You met her earlier on. So, any ideas, any thoughts, any complaints, any issues? Uh, the new Chibio. Uh, policy for returns extends to endure lead, and that policy is is not a 30 day or 90 day policy. It's called forever and a day policy. It means I don't give a damn when, where, or how you bought that product. If you don't like it, then we'll take it back. If you bought an endure lead product three years ago, I own the company now. It's you don't like it, or it's hard as a rock, or you can't use it. We'll exchange it out for anything else. I don't care if you bought it. I don't know, from Amazon or from CVS, it doesn't matter to me. You know, we, we'll, we'll, I'm going to stand behind Endurly products the same way because it's now the same, you know, the same company base. Well, two different companies, but the same, same thing. So, you know, anything you buy from us, we, there's no reason that you have to give us if you don't like it. You don't like the flavor. We'll ask you at the end just so we know. But I don't care if you try something, don't like the flavor. We'll take it back. We try to cause it to blow in your stomach. It didn't work for you. We'll take it back. You, you hit, hit a race with it. It didn't work. It, it makes no difference. I stand behind every single bottle, every single jar, every scoop, every capsule that we're going to make and we're going to we give to you. So have that confidence that we're here and we're behind it for you. All right, guys? Anyway, thank, thank you. Mark. Thank you, everybody. I know it's a little trying times. I know there's got to be a trust built between all of us because takeovers is not what this was, but it sounds like it, it wasn't. It was just the getting together of Matt and I. And uh, all I can tell you is that my promise is there to uh, create and give you the best possible products I can. And my slogan is without compromise. And uh, that's just something we will never do for, for any of our customers. And now you're one of our customers. So take care guys, appreciate everything. Thank you guys.